We'll talk about the game last night, uh, you know, the, the rematch against uh, Miami. But we have to talk about the League's Cup final. Uh, obviously, you scored in that game. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I ended up going Miami's way. But let's let's just you're the you're, I think you're the first player that we, we that we've had on that's played against yeah, and Messi, and, then, yeah. and you played against him twice and, and against Inter Miami, and and we know the team is just absolutely stacked yeah. and, and wild. But this this last like six seven weeks of your life. What have they been like with now Messi in this league and then playing against him twice? How, how is Fafa Pico feeling about just being a professional in this league right now? Nah, it's, it's nuts. It's been crazy. It's been a, an amazing transition for the league. Um, obviously, on an individual level, you just want to be able to enjoy those games. And, and you know, just <clears throat> at the same time where you're, you're seeing where he's at and seeing the type of player he is, you want to compete and and also, you know, there's a lot more viewers. There's a lot of people watching. You want to just show who you are as a player and, and show what your team can do. So um, it's been dope, man. He's an amazing player. Uh, seems to be very humble. Um, he's achieved so much. So it's great to step on the pitch uh, with, with a guy like that. Now, I'm, I'm curious about the, the, just the conversations from game one against Miami against, to game two against Miami. Because the game last night was uh, uh and we're we're recording this obviously the day after that game like so. 12 hours after the game <laughs> so yeah. thank you Papa, again for doing this Anytime, but yeah, the, the 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 second time around i mean w the conversations about how to not necessarily tactically stop miami but like there has to be a, a little bit of like this dude ain't beating us Somebody else got to do it. <laughs> Let what, Pippen try because we're going to stop Jordan. What are the egos like? <laughs> what are the egos like for, for uh, Nashville players and, and especially leading into that second game? No, we, know we, we know they've been on an amazing run um, since their additions. It's not just him. You got Busquets. You got Jordi Alba coming in. Um, they've been amazing additions. This guy Busquets is crazy in the middle. So, you know, at the end of the day, we... We played them in the finals. We we lost that game over time. Um, it left us bitter at home because we really we really felt we played a great game, and at the end we lost on 10-9 PK. So it's it's tough uh, tough pill to swallow. But going into the league again, we got to fight for our points, and we know we're there at the bottom trying to scrape their way up the table. So going over there, we know it wasn't going to be easy with humidity, uh, the players they have, the run they're on, the momentum. Um, but we have a lot of pride, and we know the group we have overall, and we trust that, and we trust what we can do. Obviously, there's certain plays that he's going to make, and some of their players will make that you just really can't do too much about, except try to be tactically smart and, and put yourself in the right positions, and it takes a lot of grit. It takes a full team effort to get through those. I mean, I've been so impressed with your, just especially last night, just your ability to, like, press like, you're clearly, like, ready to go. It doesn't matter where, what time the clock is on. But you mentioned Busquets. Is there something really frustrating about it? Because when you watch it, you're like, he's not moving fast, <laughs> but he's here one second, <laughs> gone the next. It's yeah. like, yo, he was right here, bro. Yeah. Is there, maybe it's not even just Busquets, but players like that. Is that frustrating sometimes? I mean, at the end of the day, like you said, he doesn't move fast, but he just sneaks up in these little pockets, and you're like, yeah. You know, okay, somebody else got to Where's my wallet? <laughs> yeah, I just have my wallet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wearing your shirt? <laughs> I was just New York, wearing it. <laughs> the New York bump check to make sure nobody <laughs> stole nothing off you. And <laughs> like, yo, man's was just here. And, and Messi does the same. So it's they kind of play off each other in a strange way. And then you have dynamic strikers as well, um, like Joseph, that's, that's moving off of them as well. So it's, it's just very dangerous uh, all around. But my job as a striker and, and winger, depending on the game, is to just kind of close in those angles, uh, make it as make it as difficult for Busquets as possible to have to play back uh, as much as possible, or not be able to just play balls through lines um, as comfortably as he wants to. So try to disturb him uh, and make the defenders make the play, because at the end of the day, they're further back on the field, and um, and I think it's better if we're able to press higher than than just drop down, because that's when Messi and the rest of their attack becomes extremely dangerous.